we're back with a uh, reaction video, and this time it's going to be um, a leaked uh, trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And I haven't heard much. I know they were, have been dropping Easter eggs uh, in Warzone as each season has moved on, and as new seasons have came into the game, and um, this is supposedly a like a first official trailer it's been leaked so i'm going to be reacting to it um so yeah without further ado let's just jump on in the head of the cold war kgb defector yuri bezmanov issues a chilling warning understand what's going on around you you are in a state of war and you have precious little time to save yourself he claims a Soviet spy code named Persus was has infiltrated weapon intelligence. His goal is subvert the U.S. to ensure Soviet dominance in the arms race. To this day, the identity and whereabouts of Persus remain unknown. It's a slow process which we call active measures. The first stage being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. The next stage is destabilization. What matters is essentials. Economy, foreign relations, defense systems. The next stage is crisis. With a violent change of power, structure and economy, period of normalization. This is what will happen in the United States if you allow all these schmucks to put a big brother government in Washington DC, we will promise lots of things, never mind whether the promises are fulfilled or not. Hmm. There's a little hint they were uh, hinting in the Easter eggs. The time bomb is ticking, but every second, the disaster is coming closer and closer. The danger is real. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So, a worldwide reveal will be on August 26th, which will be uh, next Wednesday. So, there you go. That was a small little leak. Uh, trailer of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Um, my thoughts, I guess, are that, I mean, obviously, there's no gameplay. Um, of course, I, you know, most games, they might show some gameplay in, like, the first small trailer before they leak an official one. Um, but obviously, this is just, like, a big hype for the game itself, and to be honest, this could be really good. Um, obviously, Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2 were really successful in the Call of Duty franchise, and with this one being the third, right after, you know, basically Black Ops 1 from, you know, the timeline anyway, because Black Ops 1 was based in the Vietnam War, and, um, in the Cuban Missile Crisis. And now this is going to be focused uh, on the, the years afterwards in the Cold War. So, I don't know. This could be really good. Honestly, from just watching this, not even seeing any gameplay, I would bet this could be really good. You know, it could be one of the... It could top one of the older, you know, Black Ops games. I bet, you know, first week... Millions of people are going to start playing this. And um, it'll pretty much be just a bounce back between Modern Warfare and then Cold War. Because tons of people are going to be playing both of them. Um, so yeah, um, this looks really good. Obviously there's no gameplay so we can't, you know, we can't decipher whether it's going to actually be good or not. But just from this little trailer that we got, um, I think it's going to be... An amazing game obviously it you know just from this like small trailer it looks good just from you know showing the pr the past and 
you know, all the major conflicts and war, the economy, you know, government, etc. So, yeah, um, that has been the uh, leaked Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War trailer. Obviously, it's not the official, but it's the first, you know, kind of mini trailer. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, thank you all for watching, and have a blessed day. Peace.